Okay, so this is a BMO Brazen version three. Um, and it, it's a, it's not a super good looking machine for a lot of people, but I, I actually like it to look. It looks like a little rocket and I think it's quite cute. And there are some reasons why it's designed the way it's done. So what makes it very different from almost any other filter machine is the fact that the water goes in the top, it gets boiled and then it goes through. So what that means is you, you're following more of a natural, um, a natural pour over style because you're going through the coffee uh, at the, and the, obviously the temperature will decrease slowly but surely as you go through the coffee. Okay, so um, when you turn, the, it's, the other thing about the machine is a, you, it has a full calibrate mode. So you can calibrate to the, it calibrates to the, um, the, the altitude you're in. So you, when you enter calibrate mode and they reckon you run it every three months, it calibrates the temperatures that it thinks it is to, uh, to your altitude. So that's quite important. And it's quite easy to run the calibrate mode. Um, it has things like timers. So you can put an auto on at certain times. So if you, you're one of those people who likes to break up to a fresh pot of coffee, you can do that. Um, and it has a manual mode, which is which is quite cool. So if you want to make like a, like a Hario or whatever, this comes out and this goes in. And then you can put a scale underneath, which I have done, but obviously not a, a very high one. And you can you manually start it or start it, stop it. I better not do that. You manually and stop it, start it. And then you can have a manual release. Okay. So you can hit the temperatures okay. sure. and you can hit whatever temperature you like and you can release into it. Right. So what's interesting about that is this here, if you look at the this shower thing, is, is 30 little holes here. And I've never seen anything with this many holes, okay? And they all pulse, they actually pulse. So it's not like a straight pour, it pours straight into the machine and it actually is, it's almost like, but it's the closest you're gonna to get to a, 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 a manual pour. The, it comes with a gold basket, okay, which I have been extremely impressed with. I, I love gold baskets. I, I've always liked them. They are probably the only reusable basket I really like. Um, the others uh, add a bit of, um, they take, a, they, they don't really fix any problems. They actually make more problems than, than they create. But the gold, I don't know why the gold, it makes the coffee slightly sweeter. Um, yes, you still get the oils in, so you've got the disadvantage of having oils in it, but you can take this out and put in a filter. I, fil I have done this with a Kalita. It does work with a Kalita. I, uh, I prefer to rather put the Kalita underneath and brew like that, but you can put the Kalita. Um, Ranchilio are going to source proper ones. It's a, you can get, it's a 10 cup filter. Okay, so there's the filter. It's really nice and it actually is it's super effective. Normally metal filters, you get a lot of grit in the coffee. We didn't, we, I made a coffee before and we didn't get any grit. Um, so to, to use it in manual mode, this comes out. You can use water, as I said, and this that, that comes out. To, to load it, it's pretty simple. You load and you start. Um, I didn't put any water in, but I, to show you. And, and what's quite cool, what's, what's quite cool, that's enough is um, it has three um, numbers there. One is 600, 900, 1200. No, don't make coffee, don't make coffee. Um, and, uh, and those in the manual, he has, he recommends what your doses are uh, for those coffees. I don't actually agree with him because they're actually working about a five gram. I've been finding the best brew for me has been um, uh, the 949.5 grams that's actually been the best brew we actually had that earlier um uh, yeah. so as i said you load there you load, it, you, what's cool is what when you load the water and now you're going off and grinding your coffee you can then press start and it will then start boiling without so if i press start here you'll see it's, it it'll take a while to boil but as i said in the beginning what's interesting is it boils the water first it boils the water first and gets to the temperature that you set. You control the temperature under mode. You control your brew temperature. I set it to 93, that's where I like it. I find anything above that I don't really like, but 90, 93 is where I like it. You can go all the way up to 100, obviously, or to 99, and, and start lowest is 88. Okay, 
So I normally have 93. Um, it does also have a, um, a pre-soak or bloom mode. So it's, you can choose how long you want the bloom to be. So if your coffee is fresher, obviously you want the bloom to be longer. The coffee is, um, you know, once it's a week old, 45 minutes, seconds seems to be fine. The, 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 while that's a great feature and I really like that feature, the one disadvantage that I felt for it is there isn't a way to set how many, how much water that is. So I think it's assuming you have 1.2 liters in it. I've been brewing it with a, um, with one, with 900. So I'm going to turn it off because you, you can hear it boiling now. You see, so it's actually like a kettle. Okay. I'm going to turn it off. Um, okay, so that, that's to set the manual up. Then also, you can see here, there's a steam coming off. This is one of the irritating features that gets a lot of water here. So if you, it does get a bit irritating when you get too much water there. And the lid is a bit strange to put on. It's, it's, uh, it's very quick and you, it doesn't have to, the arrow doesn't have to point in the right position. It brews directly into the thermos. So there's no hot plate underneath. And here's from the top, you can see how it brews. It brews down into that hole, through this hole into the thing. So it's not like the techno bomb which brews down and around. It's creating agitation by moving down like that. So the coffee's coming down and moving around the thermos. The, there's no way to close the thermos. It says open, close on there. You see that, it's open, close. But what's confusing is that actually doesn't mean close as in closed thermos. It's actually just lit on or off. So you'll see when it's on closed mode and when it's on open mode, there's no difference really, as far as you can see, except the lid doesn't come off. But that, what that means is that it doesn't keep its temperature as well as, for example, the queen or the techno ball. It's, it lasts about, um, about three, four hours is what the champ thing. It is also, I mean, in, in Hoffman, he did a thing about thermoses. It is almost a very irritating thermos to pour from. When you pour from, it does splatter a lot. Um, and, uh, and also coffee gets caught over here. So you often have to pour the last bit of coffee out. But besides that, it's not a bad thermos. Um, I like its shape. A lot of the, a lot of the thermoses are, are very weird shapes. The Technoboom is very tall. The other guys are, you know, rounded. I quite like its shape and it's actually very easy to carry. Um, I'm just trying to see if I think left anything else out. Uh, I don't think the open and close is for this side. No, it's not. Then I, this is the I, point for the. Believe me, I tried way. everything. Uh -huh. I tried. I tried. Thought maybe this is closed like this. Yeah. But actually, all it's doing is actually when you on there's always a gap here. Can you see the gap? Yeah. There's always a gap, and that gap doesn't close anywhere. So there's no way to close the gap. So, it's, so it never, I mean, it drove me mad. I couldn't figure out what they meant by open close. To me, close is like a normal push uh, thing to, that it must be any heat out and open must be that you can pour. But actually that's not what it's for. It's open the lid, close the lid. It took me a while, it took me a while to get used to it. So it's a bit of a strange one. Okay. But unnecessary. Yeah, it, they should have, I don't know, it's a chef on off or something. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. No, not really. I, look, the, mo the I think that's really it. The machine is very good. I'm very, very happy with the coffee it makes. Um, I, I, I have done a Technoform to be more comparison. Okay, fine, it was Technoform paper versus be more um, uh, gold filter, but I've also done a paper filter comparison and how far like the, the thing. And the techno form splatters, it, it makes a weird, the bed looks incorrect, it, uh, it irritates me. It, it, it actually just irritates me, that machine. Uh, you know, when you look at the bed, there's like a hole on the side, it looks like a golf course, it doesn't look like a thing. This bed, bed, this bed, when you look at it, it's actually got little holes there, so it's actually pretty flat. And, and obviously it's a flat brewer as well, so it's a flat brewer. It's got this little rubber thing to stop the thing from coming out. So you can actually brew without it. And I don't know, I've always thought that feature a bit silly because um, 
you go wait for the machine to ring. It beeps when it, when it finishes brewing. Um, and that's it. I think it's a great little, I think it's probably the most underrated brewer on the market. I, I, it's, it's about the same price as the Technivorm in South Africa because we get this via the Australian guys. Um, but it's a phenomenal brewer. I'm, I'm actually very happy to, to move almost all my, all my brewing to it, except for the Chemex. The Chemex doesn't fit underneath. They say it does in the manual, but it does. Okay, this is the eight cup. But you'll see the eight cup, it doesn't fit. But even the six cup doesn't fit. It fits underneath, there's a little thing here. It has to dangle it, which is just a little silly. It, it, it doesn't fit. You, you've got to fold the filter down, it's a mess. So I, and then the water comes all over the place. It's, I don't know which Chemex they're talking about, but it's not working. Okay. But I've tried on the Kalita, I've tried on the Horror, I've done a 600 gram, gram brew on the Kalita, which is fine. I posted some Instagram pictures about it. And uh, the Horror, I've done a, I've done plenty of Horrors. And the manual's pretty intuitive. So if, if I press manual now, it will release water. So you, it's almost like having your own little kettle. I think that's very cool. Yeah, so you, you are, there, are there any other machines that allow you to put your Kalita or your Hario under? The only one I know of really, really is the Revel, but that doesn't come to South Africa. Um, I think the there's a new one called the Ratio, which which is available now. I don't know if it does. It's got some little features itself. Um, I haven't reviewed, I haven't played with that one machine, but the the Technovorm. The Technovorm doesn't do it. Uh, I've tried to do it with the Technovorm, but the, it's just not yeah. designed for that. Okay, any questions? Do you think the Chemex would fit with um, 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 a gold filter? No, uh, no. Uh, I don't think so. Still it's too it, it's and, and it dangles a bit. So I think the three cup Chemex might fit, but it's too narrow. So it's I think the out is going to be too wide. So I don't, I don't think the, the, yes, you know, the Kalitas work. They, they do work. I played with the Kalitas. The, the only thing is a little bit more angular. So if you look at the, I don't have an open one. Just give me that one. No, it's, it's not open. No, fine. I can prove it. Show you. So these are round. They're not, they're angular. So you, they, they don't fit 100% in. And it, become, it bends the other one out. So you do need a, like a, um, a proper a 10 cup filter if you want to do that. I have asked um, Adrian. He's going to try to source some. Um, otherwise, the machine besides it's it's slightly wide, but I, that means that you can do things like horror in it. So I I, I really like this machine. I I I re maybe it's because I expect it's a little from it, but I love this machine. I, it's like it's like when I the first thing I do is I, I make two or three pots a day. I I, I really like wow. it. Wow. I, I I mean. My only time I'm really making chemics is, or I'm not using this, I'm using an espresso machine, or I'm making chemix, or if I haven't done, don't have enough coffee. I've done the 600 grams uh, brew here. It's not not bad, but I feel it's a little bit of a waste. And what I really, the gold filter, I mean, I've, I've we've tried metal filters that just never, ever make good coffee. This gold filter, really, the coffee's slightly sweet. It's not quite as bodied as before, but you don't feel like you're losing a lot from the coffee and it's very quick to clean. Um, and I don't know, I, I, it's, it's probably the most reusable filter I've ever used that I, I really think doesn't take away from the coffee experience. Any other questions? Anything? This looks... Uh, I I'll tell you, I um, I don't. Oh, how long does it how long does it take to do a nine hundred gram? It's pretty quick. I mean, I, the the longest delay actually is the uh, forty five second delay or whatever you've done in the bloom, and the uh, it does depend on the grind. So the the the, the stronger the grind, the thick the finer the grind, the, the longer the brew. So I'm I'm get, I'm using the same as a Horio grind, and it seems to be fine. And uh, it's five and a half grand. Uh, well, then. Yeah. Do you speak? See you? Oh, I wasn't. 
yeah, yeah, it's me. I just want um, curious to ask uh, the filter, the, that filter on that machine. Is it that round filter? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what I'm interested, in, what I'm interested to know um, is, yeah, that one. So it's it, it's easy to get it when it's when that broken or something. Uh, is any places that you can easily get it when you want it? Um, so Adrian has bought spares in. I can check with him, but I'm sure he has. But the, it, it's actually very solidly built. Uh, it's not. So I, yeah, I mean it can break, but uh, it took about four cup four brews for it before it didn't have sediments in it. So um, and if you bring without you paper filter, you've got to take this out. You can't put the filter paper in. You can't you can't put paper inside there. It'll it'll overflow. But I haven't tried it, but the manual says don't do that. So I didn't do it. Um, so yeah, I, I can check from Adrian if there's if it's available, but. I'm sure it is. It's not. It's also quite a simple part to bring in. The big problem is I've never found them for any other brewer in South Africa. Um, that's the big problem. They are available for other brewers, but I've I've never found them. There was a stainless steel one for the for the um, Chemex I tried that wasn't great. Um, but I, I, that's gold filters to me. Mate, have always made better coffees than the other ones. Cool. Anything else?